Hello, my name is Atsi Sofni, Tokyo Medical University Hospital, Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatology, and Japan Pancreatic Duct Stent Study Group. Pancreatitis is the most common and potentially serious complication of post ERCP. Post ERCP pancreatitis is mostly caused by post procedural papillary edema and retention of pancreatic juice. We reported the effectiveness of temporary pancreatic duct stent in preventing post ERCP pancreatitis based on the results of the Randomized Controlled Match Center Trial in 26. It was also important in reviewing risk factors according to the kind of cases in which temporary pancreatic duct stent was used. So we conducted a Randomized Controlled Match Center Trial to determine whether the placement of a temporary pancreatic duct stent prevents post-ERCP pancreatitis and to identify risk factors for post-ERCP pancreatitis. We analyzed data from 426 consecutive patients who underwent ERCP-related procedures at 37 endoscopic units. The patients were randomly assigned to groups that received stents, stent group 213 or did not not stent group 213. Statistical analysis was done on the basis of intention to treat analysis. Dropout cases should not be excluded from the applicable analytic cases in our RCT. An analysis of all cases except for excluded cases is a full analysis set, which reflects the clinical situations. The stent used was temporary 5 French in diameter, 3 cm long and straight with unflanged inner end. Next, I show you the result of our RCT. The overall frequency of post ERCP pancreatitis was 11.3%. The frequencies of post ERCP pancreatitis in the stent and non stent group were 7.9% and 15.2% respectively. The lower incidence of post ERCP pancreatitis in the stent group was statistically significant based on the full analysis set. P value is 0.021. Although there was no statistically significant differences in an intention to treat analysis p-value 0.076. Next, there were significant differences in post-ERCP pancreatitis incidence between groups in multivariate analysis for the following risk factors. Pancreatography first, non-placement of pancreatic duct stent after ERCP procedures, procedure time more than 30 minutes, Sampling of pancreatic tissue by any method. Pancreatic duct introductory ultrasonography. And difficulty of cannulation more than 15 minutes. Moreover, we evaluated the relationship between the number of risk factors and post ERCP pancreatitis. There was a significant association with post ERCP pancreatitis and the number of risk factors, p-value 0.011. And patients with more than three risk factors had a significantly greater incidence of pancreatitis, p-value is 0.001. Conclusion. Placement of a temporary pancreatic duct stent reduces the incidence of post-ERCP pancreatitis. Several risk factors associated with the post ERCP pancreatitis, although papillary edema was prominent. So, we recommend the temporary pancreatic duct stent was placed for the patient with risk factors we showed. Thank you.